Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another Summer Craft Party video. Today I have a really fun side edge card for you. This is my cool summer side edge card. Isn't that just so adorable? I love that super cool penguin, that fun little sentiment there at the top. Of course, it opens up and you see that pretty pattern paper, and then the messaging panel is on the back. Of course, I include an envelope as well. This one is so fun to put together and I can't wait to show it to you. So let's grab our materials and get started. Step one, get the SVG cut file. This project was part of Summer Craft Party 2023. To get the cut file for this project, you can purchase the VIP access pass that includes instant lifetime access to the entire 12 day event, plus bonus cut files, printable worksheets, and commercial licensing. Get more information on the VIP access pass at thebeardedhousewife.com SCP23. If you're interested in only this project, you can purchase the individual cut file in my shop. I have links to both options in the description box below. No matter which option you choose, you'll want to make sure you download the cut file, unzip the file, and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step 2. Upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Now that we have a new project open in Cricut Design Space, we can go ahead and click Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and click Open, and Upload. Highlight the image and click Add to Canvas. Step 3. Convert score lines in any text. Now that our project has been brought into our canvas, we can go ahead and ungroup the design. We need to do some converting, so let's scroll down the Layers panel and find the envelope. Highlight the score line. Come up to the Operation menu and change that to Score. Highlight the group and Attach. We need to do the same thing for the card base. Highlight the score line, change that to score, highlight the group, and attach. And lastly, we want to change the hope your summer is. We want the machine to draw that on, so we need to change that to pen. So find the text, highlight it, come up to the operation menu and change that to pen. You can change the color here if you wish. Highlight the group and attach. So, all together, we have the envelope score line and the card base score line converted. And then we have the sentiment here the hope your summer is converted to pen. Once that's all done, you can go ahead and click make it. I'll be using the mats for this project. And you'll see the different mats for this card. Now, one thing that I do want to mention. This pale yellow mat is actually for your pattern paper if you choose to use pattern paper on the inside of the side edge card. One of the good things about side edge cards is that when the card is closed, it shows that beautiful pattern paper should you choose to use it. So if you're going to use pattern paper, this yellow layer is that layer for your pattern paper. Okay? Go ahead and click continue. I'll be using medium cardstock for this project. I'll go ahead and get everything cut out and I'll see you when it's time to assemble. Step 4. Cut out the design.
Step 5. Assemble your card. Okay, everything has been cut out, so it's time to go ahead and start to assemble. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and layer up our little penguin. I do have a layering guide within the download that will help visualize how to layer everything together, so I would refer you to that. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video just a little bit while I assemble him, and I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. And there's our super cool penguin. I'll let him dry. Let's go ahead and matte and layer the cool sign. Let that dry. Now we can go ahead and matte and layer our messaging panel and then our inside cover panel. I chose this pink polka dotted paper that I have because I actually have a summer shirt that's in that color. Okay, I'm going to set those to the side to dry. We can take our card base, go ahead and fold and burnish along that score line. Let's open up that card. And here you have two different choices. You can either add the inside cover panel and that will add a little pop of color and pattern paper once the card is closed, or you can put the messaging panel inside. What I'm going to do is add the pattern paper to the inside, and then the messaging panel will go on the back of the card. Okay. Now we can add our front cover panel to the front of the card. Now we can add our cool little penguin to the front cover panel. And lastly, our cool, our cool penguin side edge card. Isn't that neat? I just love that penguin. He's so neat. So I'm going to set that to the side to let that dry. For the envelope, go ahead and fold and burnish along the score lines. Add your glue along the outer edge of that inlay panel. Flip the inlay over and place it on top of the cutout on the envelope. Spin the envelope around. Let's go ahead and place the card inside the envelope and then bring those side flaps in. The reason I'm doing that is because that penguin is a little bit on the thicker side so you just want to make sure that you have enough space there for the card to clear. Go ahead and bring the bottom flaps up and press. You can see that pocket there, and that forms the envelope. Such a cool card, pun intended. <laughs> Wasn't this one so fun? Like I said, I love that little penguin. He just is so cool with those sunglasses on, just ready for a good time. I hope that you like this. Make sure to share your project with me, whether that be through our Facebook group, our member group, or through email, I would love to see your creations. Until next time, I'm Nick, I'm the Bearded Housewife, and I will see you at the next Summercraft Party video. Bye!